WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we had the Dow Industrials finished down 80, NASDAQ up 19, S&P's flat. Uh, bottom line is that you had a sideways market out here with light volume, folks. We're going to take a look at the S&P. Uh, what you're going to see out here is that you're slamming right into the uh, October 10th the downdraft. Uh, the top of that is uh, $286.91. We hit $286.23 today. Uh, bottom line, you did 38 million shares. Uh, yesterday, you did uh, 77 million. So you can see there's some major uh, resistance right here, and we'll see whether you're just building cars uh, to get up and over it or, in fact, uh, just can't handle the price. Uh, the, uh, th that was your S&P. NDX 100 is the same type of setup. Now, the differential in the, SC, uh, the uh, NDX is that that hasn't reached the high yet of the 21st of March. That's 182.83. We got to 182.90 today. Uh, you closed at 182.73. Um, bottom line is that, yeah, you have light volume, 21 million versus 42. Now, that, you can say, is a subtle failure. Pretty intense, but it's still laying at the high. Small caps, small caps are still the weakest indice out here. You had a sideways move out there, slightly lower. Uh, far, down 40 cents, 154.36. The differential is that the small caps uh, made it to the downdraft of the 22nd of March. Now, that was the second downdraft because the small caps had topped out and this last get-go on uh, February 25th. So the date we're talking here is on March 22nd. Um, got above it, closed underneath it, uh, 40 million shares versus 17 today. So that is a failure uh, in spades, too. Notes and bonds, they can use some more um, volume out here. Uh, what we did do is that uh, you had price going up six ticks, no big deal there, but bottom line, you're going to need more volume. You are in the higher range, though. That's the, that's the bottom line. You know, we came down yesterday. You came down with heavy volume yesterday. That being said, it's still much lighter than the volume that you went topside with. You know, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that you're coming into the strength. The strength had 2.5 million contracts in the 10-year. We did 1.7. So when you do something like that, bottom line, that is saying, guess what? You still want higher price, lower yield. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar uh, traded up to a price point of 97.095 today, 13,000 contracts. The high I was looking for is 97.160. And um, the bulls and bears are still fighting it out over at King Dollar. And it's actually all about the euro. The euro is right at its lows. That's trading 111.99. We'll see whether it wants to jump off the cliff. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.